The range of condition that old leather bindings can survive in is endlessly fascinating. Uh, this is a scarce set of theological books that was published in, well, it says here Gandé, but really that's Gand or Echent in Belgium. So it's a Belgian set by van der Schelden, and we see 1824 imprint. Uh, it is uh, a fascinating survival uh, in that what the former owners did, this was in a monastery uh, library or a theological library, um, and we see here that there was the embossed stamp of that uh, monastery here. Uh, and what they did was, when they had their books on the shelf, number one, they didn't treat them with leather dressing, so they dried out and chipped. But then they also, uh, you see this uh, in, in institutional libraries, it's an, a, a, a practice uh, done many, many years ago, about 200 years ago and, and back, where they would paint and then number the books on shelves in succession so that even though this set is complete, on the shelf there were 21 books before it, and presumably there were more books after it of a different work. So it's very interesting. The boards, the covers here are marbled paper. They're original to this era, as are the spines with, these, with this gilt lettering. As you can see, it's all dried out now. Uh, but the books remain um, sound, actually, uh, and tight. Uh, they've got this beautiful marbled end papers. Um, and the text, of course, is all in Latin. It's a theological work. And so, it's got some, this one's got original dust on it. <laughs> and here we have this one, like this. This one now is 1825, so it was published uh, over a period of years, a couple years anyway. It's hard to believe how much work really goes into producing a book like this. This typesetting is all done a letter at a time. It's really quite a feat of labor. This is 1826 on this one here, and the final volume. Uh, like so, uh, has the chipping at the head, but the binding in the book is still sound and tight. And this one here, yes, is 1826. And so this uh, seven volume theological set is now available online from me, Brian DeMambro.